Hello and welcome to this video on text analysis. In our previous video, we showed you how you can be able to do web scrapping. And if you have not watched that video, I'm going to leave the link to that video in the description link below. And I'm also going to attach the video here so that you can take some time and watch it. Now, from that video, we saw that artificial intelligence is quite broad. And one of the main important areas of artificial intelligence is natural language processing. Now, natural language processing is also quite huge and it involves quite a number of things, all the way from sentiment analysis, named character recognition, word frequency analysis, and so on. So today we are going to do some of the basic tasks of uh, natural language processing. And specifically, we are going to handle some text that I have here in this particular notepad. And in this notepad, I have the definition of artificial intelligence. And I've obtained this definition from Google. You can also get it from there. You can also use any other text that you desire so that uh, you can be able to enjoy the process of uh, performing the tasks that we are going to perform today. Now, remember to first and foremost save the text that you have. And remember to save it in the same folder where you have saved your Python notebook. Note that my notebook here is known as NLP. And when I go to the uh, folder where I have saved it, you can be able to see my notebook and in the same folder you can be able to see my file. Why am I insisting on this? Because it makes it easier for your program to access the file that you want to use. Now having done that, let's now go ahead and code the code that we need in order for us to perform the tasks that we need to do. So we are going to perform three primary tasks, counting the number of words in that particular file. Number two, we are going to determine how many times the number of uh, how many times each word appears in that particular text. And finally, number three, we are going to perform word frequency analysis. But before we begin, please consider subscribing, sharing, and also liking our videos. Please also uh, put on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we release a new video. Now let's go ahead and uh, analyze this code. So in this code, the first cell that we have over here, what we are doing is we want to first and foremost access the file that we have just created the text file we have created and also open it now since uh, the text file contains data in text format there's that data can only be uh, stored or processed using a data type in programming known as string data type. so we first import the string data type after we import the string data type we open the file and after opening the file you can see using this function known as open to open the file we then read the file using a function known as file.read. And uh, whatever the content of that file will be, we put them under a variable known as text. Now, having read the file, if you look at the file that we are using here, our text has punctuations, it has commas, and some elements such as A in uh, the word artificial intelligence and I are in uppercase. Now, them being in uppercase, and also having those punctuation marks increases the complexity of that particular text. So let us reduce the complexity by first removing all the punctuations and at the same time uh, putting our text in lowercase. And to do that, we use this function known as translate. And inside it, we first remove the punctuations and then we concatenate it with another function known as lower to put in lowercase. After we do that, the next thing that we do is to split the entire text into individual words. Some natural language processing enthusiasts will call this tokenization. Now, after you have split the individual uh, the text into individual words, it makes it easier for you to deal with the, uh, specific words. The next step that you do is to count the number of words. And how do you count the number of words? You basically use a function known as length, which is the one that we have uh, defined here. Here it is defined as LEN, and it is it uses the same syntax even in other object-oriented programming languages such as Java. And what are you doing with it? You declare a variable known as number underscore words, and then you assign it a value which is the length of words. The number of words after splitting the text will give you individual words. Now you are counting how many words are those. So that makes it possible for you to get uh, the number of the total number of words. Then in the last line of code in this particular cell, you now print out or you display the number of words. 
So to run this code, I just need to uh, press shift and enter. And uh, you can be able to see that our code says that the total number of words in that particular text is 51. Now, we have been able to accomplish our first task, which is determining the total number of words in that particular text. We go to the next task, which is uh, now determining the number of times each word appears. Yes, there are 51 words, but some words are appearing more times than others. So we want to tell exactly how many times each word is appearing in that particular text. So we declare a variable here known as word count, and we declare it as a container type. Anytime you come uh, across a Python variable which contains uh, two curly braces, it means that it is a container type. And by being a container type, it means that it is it can be an array, and uh, it can be either be a single dimension array or it can be a multi-dimension array. Then we create a control structure. In this case, we have uh, created what we call a nested control structure because in our first line here, we have a four control structure and inside this four control structure, we have an if-else control structure. So in this if-else control structure, what we are doing is we are saying if uh, in that particular word count, you have encountered a word, all right, you count it once. If you encounter it again, you increment. That is what plus equals one means. Else, that is if you don't count, encounter it again, then you just retain it as one. And then you can be able to print out now the word count, which will basically give us uh, the number of times each word appears. So if I click Shift Enter, you can be able to see that the word artificial appears once, intelligence appears twice, refers appears once, argot themes appears one, and appears twice, and so on. So this one is giving us a very detailed analysis of how many times each word is appearing. And what is making that possible is this nested control structure that we have over here. Now we go to the, now we have accomplished the second task and we move on to the third task. The third task involves calculating the frequency of each word. So we want to tell now what percentage does each word occupy in the entire text? That is the number of times the word is appearing divided by the total number of words that are there. So to do that, we also create another container variable, which is known as word frequency, and we use a control structure, which is a four control structure, and we say for word in word count, remember we have already declared this container variable known as word count, and this container variable, as you can be able to see members, we said that it's going to be an array, and you can see that it's actually an array containing all these words and the number of times that they appear. What do you want to do with it? You want to uh, now determine the word frequency by uh, taking the word count and dividing with the total number of words. For instance, take the word artificial intelligence, the artificial level. Take the word artificial, it appears once. So one divide by 51 to get the word frequency. And then you print or you display the word frequency. And once I click shift enter here, you are going to see that the word frequency is displayed can see the frequency of artificial, the frequency of intelligence, and so on. So why is this important word frequency analysis? It helps in uh, showing you exactly which words are dominating the text. So that is it, guys, about this video on uh, natural language processing, more specifically text analysis. In our subsequent videos, we are going to do more advanced natural language processing tasks, such as sentiment analysis, and uh, I believe you are going to enjoy it. Please subscribe to the channel, uh, like our videos. If you have any comments, leave it in the comment section below. And uh, consider clicking on the notification bell so that you are notified every time we release a new video. Thank you so much.